In the first book of Nephi, his reign and ministry, an account of Lehi and his wife Sariah, and his four sons being called. Beginning at the elder Solomon, Emmanuel, Sam, and Nephi, the Lord warns Lehi to depart out of the land of Jerusalem because of his prophesieth unto the people concerning the iniquity and seek to destroy his life. He taketh three days' journey into the wilderness and his family. Nephi taketh his brethren and returneth to the land of Jerusalem after the record of the Jews. The account of their sufferings, they take the daughters of Ishmael to wife. They take their families and depart into the wilderness. Their sufferings and afflictions in the wilderness. The course of the travels, they come to the large waters. Nephi's brethren rebel against them. They confounded them and built a ship. They called the name of the place Bountiful. They crossed the large waters into the promised land and so forth. This is according to the account of Nephi, or in other words, I, Nephi, wrote this record. Chapter 1. Nephi begins the record of his people. Lehi sees in a vision a pillar of fire and reads from the book of prophecy. He praises God and foretells the coming of the Messiah and prophesies of the Messiah and prophesies destruction of Jerusalem. He is persecuted by the Jews. I, Nephi, having been born with godly parents, therefore I was taught somewhat in all things in the learning of my father, and having seen many afflictions in the course of my days. Nevertheless, having been highly favored of the Lord in all my days, yea, having a great my days, yea, having a great knowledge of goodness and the mysteries of God, therefore I make a record of my proceedings and days. Two, yea, I make a record in the language of my father, which consists of the learning of the Jews in the language of the Egyptians. Three, and I know that the record which I make it is true, and I make it with my own hand, and I make it according to my knowledge. Four, for it came to pass in the commencement of the first year of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah. <coughs> king of Judah, my father Lehi, having dwelt at Jerusalem in all his days, and that same year there came many prophets prophesying unto the people that they must repent, or the great city of Jerusalem must be destroyed. Wherefore it came to pass that my father Lehi, as he went forth, prayed unto the Lord, yea, even, even with all his heart, in behalf of his people, and it came to pass, as he prayed unto the Lord, there came a pillar of fire and dwelt upon a rock before him, and he saw and heard much. And because of the things which he saw and heard, he did quake and tremble exceedingly. Seven. And it came to pass that he returned to his own house at Jerusalem, and he cast himself upon his bed, being overcome with the spirit and the things which he had seen. Eight. And being thus overcome with the spirit, he was carried away in a vision, even that he saw the heavens open, and thought that he saw God sitting upon his throne, surrounded with numberless current courses of angels and the attitude of the singing and praises of God. Nine. And it came to pass that he saw one descending out of the midst of heaven, and he beheld that. His luster was above that of the sun at noonday. 10. And he also saw 12 others following him, and that brightness did exceed that of the stars in the firmament. 11. And they came down and went forth upon the face of the earth, and the first came and stood before my father, and he gave unto him. <coughs> <coughs> and they came down and went forth upon the face of the earth, and the first came and stood before my father, and gave unto him a book, and bade him that he should read. 12. And it came to pass that he read, he was filled with the Spirit of the Lord. 13. And he read, saying, Whoa, whoa unto Jerusalem, for I have seen time abominations. Yea, and many things did my father read concerning Jerusalem, that it should be destroyed, and the inhabitants thereof, many should be perished by the sword, and many should be carried away captive un into Babylon. 14. And it came to pass that when my father had read and seen many great, marvelous things, he did such as, Great and marvelous are thy works, O Lord, great God Almighty. Thy throne is high in the heavens, and thy power and goodness, mercy, are all over all the inhabitants of the earth, and because thou art who come unto thee, that they shall perish. 15. And after this manner, with the language of my father and the praising of his God, for his soul did rejoice, and his whole heart was filled. Be the same day which the Lord had shown unto him. And now I, Nephi, do not make a full account of the things which I <coughs> Do not make a full account of the things which my father hath written. For he hath written many things which he saw in visions and in dreams. And he also hath written many things which he prophesied and spake unto his children, of which I shall not make a full account. But I shall make an account of my proceedings in my days. Behold, I make an abridgment of the record of my father upon plates, which I have made with my own hands. I have made with my own hands, wherefore I have abridged the record of my father. Then will I make an account of my own life. 18. Therefore, I that ye should know that after the Lord should know, had shown many marvels, things unto my people. <coughs> yea, concerning the destruction of Jerusalem, behold, he warns forth among the people and began to prophesy, and to declare unto them concerning the things which he had both seen and heard. And I came to ask the Jews, they mocked him because of the things which he testified of them. For he truly tested their wickedness and their abominations. And he testified the things which he had saw and heard, also the things which he read in the book, manifested plainly of the coming of the Messiah, and also the redemption of the world. <coughs> And when the Jews heard these things, twenty. And when the Jews heard these things, they were angry with him. Yea, even as with the prophets of old, whom they had cast out and stoned and slain, and they also sought his life, that they might take it away. But behold, I Nephi will show unto you that the tender mercies of the Lord are all over those whom He hath chosen, because of their faith, and make them mighty, even unto the power of deliverance. That's chapter one. I'll call it there.